RV is good. Today I will briefly share the streaming performance of Huawei Small Tablet in high performance mode. Before the video starts, let me tell you a piece of news. This Moonlight OH has been put on the shelves of the store. If you are interested, you can also download it to experience. For this reason, the original package name is not needed. It is convenient for you to install the store version. Then the new registration is the registration of the honor of kings. Why is this because it can turn on the high performance mode? By the way, the icon has also been changed. It is easy for everyone to identify through the official performance monitoring software. It can be seen even if the high performance mode is turned on for a period of time. If the screen does not move, it will still drop to 90 hertz and everyone will rise to 120 hertz as long as the screen moves. I tried it. If you move the controller, it will not trigger the 120 hertz refresh rate. So you still need to move the screen. The advantage of high performance performance mode is that it can keep the screen at the 120 hertz refresh rate for a longer time. If you don't turn on the high performance, it will drop to the 90 hertz screen refresh rate for about a long time. After that, based on this high performance mode, retested its evaluation delay, you can compare and look at the high performance mode, which also has disadvantages, that is, its power consumption and this heating will also be improved. You can press and hold the power button according to your own needs, exhale Celia, and then turn it on and off. In addition, this version has also added several new functions that I think are more useful on the Android side. You can simply take a look. There are setting options in it, and the default is off. First of all, this performance information can be displayed at the bottom. You can click to open the full keyboard. In addition to this one, you can also click this icon in the return menu to open the full keyboard. This time you can take a look. First of all, it is a normal key mode. You can use these keys freely, and there is also a key combination mode. You can use some shortcut keys very conveniently. Secondly, there is also an FN mode, which is that there will be a button in the lower right corner of this button, so that everyone can enter the button below. In addition, a new list of shortcut keys has been added, listing some of the more commonly used shortcuts. For example, toggle HDR on and off, then switch the monitor and hide the remote cursor, as well as some common shortcuts such as shutting down and closing the application full screen. In addition, it is also adapted to the input method of this mobile phone, and this input method will pop up. Generally I use this floating mode, so it will be better to enter text. But there is a problem, that is, in this English input situation, this button cannot be entered. It should be a small problem. I look back at what the situation is, of course, there is no problem in Chinese mode. You can enter text normally. And then there is another one, the position of the screen is centered by default. You can let and lean on it to display, so that you can hide this camera. Also, you can freely switch between this horizontal and vertical screen, which can make it easier for everyone to use this full keyboard and use some shortcut keys. The last words have been added to the home page with an upgraded icon. You can directly open this Quark Network disk after clicking. The above is the entire content of this video. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next issue.